How to hit GC in 2023. Now this is coming from someone who has an extreme amount of experience in this rank. So take what I say as the gospel. Essentially, we're going to be going over five tips to help you guys get better at Rocket League and coaching you guys through some of my twos nice. games. Tip number one, practice fundamentals over mechanics. Mechanics you can learn another time as long as you get those fundamentals completely correct, you'll have no issues. Absolutely no trouble playing in GC. Number two, watching streamers and wow. replicating their movements. Streamers such as AlphaCat or Tenacity or perhaps Darku, some of those players who are slightly better at the game than you are, have a look into their gameplay. Not necessarily GC players, but if you look at the top ranks, that's the main way you can get better because watching SSL players play will in turn make you a better player because you'll realize and you'll clock on to the little things that they're doing in their games, such as looking behind them, making sure they're not getting demoed, you know, little flicks with the camera, all these little minuscule things, if you really take it in, it may make you a better player. Number three, you've got to vary your training to improve your skill set, and this will help you to keep enjoying Rocket League. Now, what I mean by this is playing hoops, playing rings maps, training packs, free play, doing all sorts of random little things to help you get better at Rocket League. Now, by improving this skill set, you'll make yourself so much better, and you'll enjoy the game. Flip into the ball less. This is especially in ones to avoid overcommitting, but also know when to commit. It's important to not just stay back fully and not flip at all, but at the same time, you don't want to overcommit. Flipping into the ball happens time and time again. I'm going to show you some clips now to show you what it's like and how it is a disadvantage to you. So if you're flipping into a ball and a player does not challenge, you have already committed yourself to the other side of the field, which allows the player to then come and attack at you with an open net. This is why you got to be careful. A lot of the time, not flipping at all is your best option. And number five, power through the loss streak. Now I've noticed about 70% of creators, possibly more, telling you to hop off during the lost streak, right? And from a GC who has played the game for quite some time now, and yes, is hard stuck. But let me tell you one thing. If you hop off after one game, one singular game, because you've lost, right? Let's say you play till we lose, you lose one. What's that going to achieve? If you want to get better at playing Rocket League, you've got to take those losses. You've got to learn how to play when you're losing. And basically learn from each game because success comes from being able to struggle. If you don't struggle and don't lose, how are you going to get better? You can't just go, oh no, avoid it. Let's head off now. And this is another thing as well. You need to make sure you have that clear mindset. If you lose, oh well, who cares? If you win, also the same, but it's a bonus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now with those five tips out of the way, let's get into some games to show you guys what GC is all about and how you can get there. Okay, boys, let's do this. So you notice how they're overcommitting already, giving me uh, possible opportunities to score. Just by smacking the ball away, I'm not even bothering to push. I woke up in a noble. I know he's not gonna head up. Yeah. Then we can flick over him and score. It's as simple as that. As soon as one person overcommits there, I've then got a one v one, and then I flick it over him because he pushes too far. Okay. Hoping my teammate goes for this. Yeah, I hesitated. That's my bad. Should have pushed, but I was expecting him to go here after a bit of a mess up. That's all good. I also messed up. <laughs> That's tough. That's a good shot. I don't quite know what happened here, if I'm being honest. Did he just not hit it? Yeah. And I was caught square on. That's why I needed to be back there. Have kind of awareness of where the ball is. To me. God, he's not having a good day, is he? It's tough. There we go. Had a feeling he was going to push. There's a tricky one because you don't actually know if, like, you can't see the player, so you just have to assume he goes. I should have read that from a mile away. It's so obvious. And he gets that one, no way. Ah. And he's been flicked again. It's crazy. He just I, I just know he pushes straight away. He hasn't, he hasn't got the patience. It's crazy, dude. How can you be pushing that?
No, why'd you go? Oh my god, why'd you go? Why'd you go there, dude? Oh, such an L from me. Alright, boys. Game number two. That's nice. Really good dunk by me there. I didn't really get the best touch, so I thought, you know what, let's just dunk it and see what happens. Actually worked out to be quite good there. And we got a goal from it. Good thing to do on kickoffs as well is come up for it. A lot of the time players are gonna go for cheap kickoffs at this rank. So every single kickoff, you you go for it. Right here, I think he's gonna take up the wall, but now he's gonna cut it. So I'm gonna just push it. Give my teammate a fairly easy read, although he's been bumped and he's scored. I, I don't quite know how he's planned that, but uh, it's a tricky one, really. I mean, I thought he was going to flick it, didn't flick it, and he somehow... Yeah, that's that's just unfortunate, really. I don't know what I'm doing! Oh, wow. What a fake, dude. What a fake. That was filthy. <laughs> nice, man. Ooh, good shot. Good save as well. I pretend to go for yeah. it. That's just bad for me. I'm having a bad game here. I think I'm the worst player on the pitch this game. Oh, nice, dude. You carry me. <laughs> GG's. Well played. Sometimes you just gotta let your teammates do most of the work to get you wins and trust them because they can actually play better than you on the day and get you the win. Um, I think we would have been down to C3 then, but uh, we managed to survive, which is great. Anyway, on to game three. I'm lagging a little bit this game, but that's not going to stop me. Good shot. Having to uh, do a lot of defense this game. Nice. I saw he went for the bump there, so when you see a teammate go for a bump, I mean, nine times out of ten, they're not going to be able to save that, really. It's a tricky one. Anyway, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. You know, life can be a bit tricky sometimes, but you just got to, uh, you know, keep pushing through. Look forward to the future, and uh, you never know what the future holds, you know? Even when times are tough, those are the, those are the best times, because you can often learn a lot from it as a human being. It tells you a lot about yourself. Couldn't read that. It's my bad. <clears throat> Tricky one. I mean, he put it in the right spot there. Just dead center. Really high. Difficult bounce. Read. What a save! That's a great read. Oh my god. I didn't put him in an easy position. Good stuff, teammate. Once again, I'm, I'm not getting carried yet. <laughs> not yet. Don't overcommit there. You see how I didn't flip? And now I can get back for this. And do nothing. But I'm still back, you know? There's a point challenging that, though. Because I see him pushing the ball. Stay above. And we get the bump. Tad's done. So I stayed above there. So he couldn't get the read over me and over my teammate. Therefore, he had to go lower. Hits it to him. And then I can get the free demo. Yeah, that's my bad. Tried to waste time, I should have just gone for the ball. Sometimes I do wait too long and I'm a too patient of a player. Yeah, that's a good touch from me. And that is GG's and that is exactly why, obviously it's a different day, right? Because I had to do two recordings. But that's exactly why when you lose, just get straight back into the games and get the wins in because you never know what you can do. And they're a team as well, by the way. So that just goes to show how even with, you know, my ping being delayed, which it again doesn't show, you can see it going up and down though a little bit. That's what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, a lot of players don't understand that. That takes a level of skill that, you know, if it was stable, my rank would be higher, I think. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the games. And yeah.